Hey guys, Raven Rose here, and today I'm going to be doing a reading for money and finances. This video is going to be for all the fire signs, so if you're an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, then this video is for you. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and we can get started. Okay, fire signs. Let's see what we have here for you guys. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, to start with, we have with the Gypsy Oracle, the card that was picked is Frivolty. And this card, um, the meaning is being undecided irregular, fickle, and changing. Okay. So, let's see. I, I feel like you put a lot of hard work into your career and finances, your money situation, and you're in a successful uh, place right now. Um... But you, there may be a little sense of kind of maybe loneliness and boredom, but let's see. So for your current financial situation, you have the chariot upright, which is very good. Um, so this is saying that you put a lot of hard work and you're about to be rewarded. So you may have struggled with some self-discipline at times, but you've surpassed that and victory is now in sight. So you've worked really hard. You've stayed balanced. Um, you've stayed the course and you're feeling pretty good right now. You're feeling like you're accomplishing your goals and you're going to be rewarded. You're being, you're feeling successful. Um, this could also symbolize a possible overnight accept, uh, success, like something just overnight clicks and, and things change for the better. Um, your friends and family or people around you might say, oh, you're lucky, but it's really luck has nothing to do with it because you put a lot of hard work into this. And it might look to other people like, oh, it came easy to you, but you know how hard you worked for it. Um, like it, the success that's coming to you is coming after a battle and it could have been a battle with yourself or with any other obstacles around you. So this success, if you own a business, you know, it might take off. If, if you're like an author of a book, it's going to become a bestseller. Like it's that kind of success, or you might be having a promotion in your career. Um, there might be someone in your life that around you that never gives up and that them by them doing that, it inspired you to do the same. And and you never gave up. You, you kept going and you're going to reap the rewards for it. So that's really good. That's your financial situation right now. And where your core beliefs and relationships with money, you have the hermit in reverse here. So <clears throat> you might feel like in order to be successful, you feel like you might need to be alone. Or you feel like if you are successful, you're going to be alone or you might end up alone. Um, like, like all the hard work, like maybe you feel like you won't have time for anything else. And maybe, or like when you finally get to that successful, um, like where you're working really hard, it's like, you feel like you have to be alone for that. 
or you somehow you're like attaching being alone to being successful in your career. You might feel like with money, um, and this is currently how you're feeling like to you, money might seem like superficial. Um, it's like as much, you're working so hard for your business career job, whatever it is, and, and your success is coming or it's here already. And, but at the same time, you don't put a lot of, um, you don't like money isn't everything to you. You don't, um, like maybe what you go for to be successful is, is more of doing something that makes you happy and what you love to do. Not so much as money itself. And what's causing this in your past, your past influences, with money. You have the justice card in reverse. So somewhere in your past, there was an injustice of some kind or an imbalance or a delay in your money, career, finances. Um, you could have had a rough or hard time earning money or getting your business started or getting promoted in your career. And it was a very slow, painful process, which is why with the chariot currently, it's like, yeah, you're, you're successful now, but like people think you're lucky. You're not lucky. You worked really hard for this, or you've been through a lot to get here and you've been through a very slow, painful process when it comes to your finances. Um, this could also be you may have been through a divorce or a separation in the past or recent past that could have, um, it could have been a nasty divorce where you got an unfair judgment in court when it comes to your, your money situation. Um, this could be if you're buying a home, if you bought a home in the past, there could have been complications with negotiations and things were just not fair and not just in your part. Like you weren't, um, you didn't get the fair end of the stick. You had a hard time and things were very slow moving and painful and complicated. There could have been issues with taxes um, and this can even be an emotional separation from a partner. There's a lot of success with money, but a lot of feeling of loneliness and being alone when you, with this success that, you know, you've worked really hard for. Yeah. Okay, so then here with your spiritual relationship with money and the lessons you need to learn. So you have three of wands and this card is all about um, you're waiting for your ships to arrive. It's like you know, you know you put in the hard work, you put in the time and you know that these ships are coming in. So this is your spiritual relationship with money and the lesson you need to learn. So if you're not feeling like this, then that's the lesson you need to learn. You need to know that, that it's coming. You need to believe and know a hundred percent that what you worked hard for is coming. It's yours. Or you do feel this way already. I feel some of you are going to be different. Some of you are here where you feel like, okay, I know what I did. I, I worked hard and I know I'm getting what I deserve. And some of you need to learn how to think that way. Um, so yeah, and this card can also, is also saying that success is coming. If you have your own business or um, creative endeavor that you do, this, it, it's going to bear fruit and there's new opportunities coming. Um, business sales will increase in profit or whatever you're involved in. 
um, your career, your job. It's all good. It's all success. It's all good things coming in. And it, it's not just falling into your lap. These are things that you've worked really hard for. And you need to know and believe and trust that it's yours and that it's coming to you. And then for this card is the actions that you need to take to change your financial situation. Um, so it looks like your financial situation is pretty good or it's about to be very good. Um, so here we have the four of cups in reverse. So this is again, a fear of being alone. So I think you need to stop worrying about being alone. If you had a divorce in the past, that could be what's influencing all this, or even an emotional separation and you're still legally married, that could be what's influencing all this. Um, or anything that you, you just, you seem to think that being successful equates to being alone. And yeah, there's a fear of being alone and you need to change that, that you need to know that you are everything you need and, you know, and it doesn't mean you're going to be alone. You're going to, you know, maybe for a little while, maybe not at all. Everybody is different, but you want to stop fearing it. Um, and this can also be a sense of boredom or needing change. So if you've accomplished all these, you know, goals in your finances and your career and your business, Maybe you need, you're feeling like you need more of a challenge right now. You need a change or maybe you need a new hobby or a new interest. Um, this could be your kind of things that you love to do um, with your job. You know, what you love to do, you could be starting to feel like you're losing interest in it. Um, and it could be even a slight form of depression. But if you can get past that and change your outlook and, you know, give yourself the change that you need, if you need a new hobby, a new interest, something to challenge you more, go for it. Um, because you have a lot of really good success coming your way, a lot of good things coming to you that you've worked hard for and you need to know that it's coming for you. And this card with the gypsy oracle again was all about being undecided and changing and being fickle which kind of goes along with this card here so and that can have to do with your relationship which is you know why you're feeling lonely and sad and depressed but at the same time your career is is taking off and is successful so you want to concentrate on, on that, concentrate on your victories and your success and pat yourself on the back and enjoy, enjoy it. Even, and if you're alone, it's okay. Enjoy it. All right. Thank you, my fire signs. I hope that resonated for you. If not, that's okay. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.